Ever thought of becoming a hacker, breaking website and applications, and also getting paid for it? If yes, and sounds like your dream job, then bug bounty hunting might be just what you're looking for. This video, we are going to explore how ethical hackers find bugs, help companies secure their systems, and earn serious cash in the process. And even you guys can do this. To do so first, let's understand what bug bounty hunting is, and how can you start your journey? <laughs> yeah, boy. A bug bounty program is a deal offered by many websites and organizations by which hackers around the globe can hack or break into their systems ethically and in return get paid. These rewards can range from a few hundred to thousands of dollars, depending on the severity of the bug. Even popular companies like Google, Apple, and Amazon have their bug bounty program and pays thousands and millions of dollars in return. But how do you become a bug bounty hunter? And what are the skills required? Let's break down the bug bounty process step by step. Think of it as a roadmap to your first payout. First and foremost, learn the basics. Before you start hunting, you need a solid foundation in programming and web technologies. This helps you understand how websites and apps work and how to find their weaknesses. Start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and any one programming language. The most important thing you need to learn is JavaScript, because many critical and high vulnerabilities lies in them. And high severity means high payouts. Some of the resources and channels to learn JavaScript is in description box. Now to create scripts, tools, and automate your tasks you need to learn is one programming language. You can choose any language that you are comfortable with, but I would prefer Go or Python. These languages are very versatile, and even most of the tools are created with these languages. You need to master the basics of your chosen language and be able to write scripts. Next thing is you should learn basics of Linux and bash scripting. Understanding of the command line interface of Linux will help you to run tools faster and automate multiple things. The last to start hunting is OWASP Top 10 Vulnerabilities. These are the most common vulnerabilities found on web applications. Learn the key aspects behind the vulnerabilities, how they work, how to find them, and most important, how to fix them. Now all you need is hacker's mindset to hack and earn. But wait, the video doesn't end here. Where would you get this high-paying platforms to attack on? Don't worry, I got you. There are many popular bug bounty platforms where you can find these programs. Some of them are HackerOne, BugCrowd, Integrity. I have even listed some more in the description section of this video. You can find dozens of programs from different domains, such as e-commerce, media, travel, and more on these platforms. But wait, you may face problems while hunting your first bug. As these platforms are available globally, you may face large competition, and then you may fail. Try to get some private program invites on this platform, or you can even search for programs which are not available on this platform directly through Google. You can check if a website has a bug bounty program by looking for a page or a link that says something like security, responsible disclosure, or bug bounty. This way you will get your first bug and you will become a successful hacker. But being a hacker, you won't mind meeting other hackers, right? There are many online platforms where you can find and join a bug bounty security community and interact with other hackers. Some of the platforms I recommend are InfoSec write-ups, a medium publication where hackers post their tutorials, tips, and stories about bug bounty hunting and security. You can read, comment, and clap on the articles and follow the authors you like. Nahamsek Discord Channel, a Discord server created by Nahamsek, a famous bug bounty hunter and content creator. You can chat with other hackers, ask questions, and participate in live hacking sessions. Make sure to check out the description box and save the video for future reference. I have also mentioned bug bounty hunting methodology, community, new vulnerability links, and much more down there. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy the process of hacking and learning. Don't get discouraged or frustrated if you don't find bugs right away or if you get rejected. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Until next time, happy hunting!